Hello everyone and welcome to Biratella's website. I'm Alicia from Better Than Your Mom is Cooking and today I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks about the new and improved Biratella's vacuum sealed packaging. Now this is a very unique product and you might be asking yourself why. The new vacuum seal gives you a longer shelf life. Now turning this into a kitchen staple that you have to have in your fridge at all times. Biratella's dough has a recommended shelf life of six weeks. And what's the best part about this? It gets way better over time. The vacuum seal packaging cold ferments the dough. By keeping our dough at cool temperatures, the yeast behaves differently, producing more desirable flavor compounds. The dough becomes lighter and fluffier with time. So what does this mean for you to do at home? Can you buy this immediately and stick this in your oven? Yeah, but I cannot stress this enough. Give this dough some time. Be super patient with it. If you take your dough out of the freezer, be sure to let it come to room temperature. You do not want to work with this dough freezing cold. If it's been sitting in your fridge, just be sure to take it out two hours prior and let it come to room temperature. It will make all the difference. It'll be easier to work with and the flavor and texture will be to die for. As you can see here, this is a dough that has been cold fermenting in my fridge for five weeks. It looks airy, full of nice air pockets, and it's lighter. The next dough was taken out of my freezer and brought to room temperature. Although still great, it hasn't had as much time cold fermenting, so there is less air pockets and it is a little bit flatter. Putting them up against each other, you can truly see the difference. Let's put this to the test to see the difference as it bakes. This has been cold fermenting for five weeks and it is full of air pockets and it is going to be amazing texture. Plop this in gently. It even smells kind of like sourdough when you take it out after it's been cold fermenting for so long. And now we're just going to press this into our pan, kind of push from the center out, like so, like that. This is our second dough that has been out of the fridge just today. And as you can see, so easy to work with, but it's a little bit stickier. We're just going to press this into our oiled pan, and this one is gonna be a little bit more resistant. So we're just gonna let that sit, and then we'll come back to this one. Okay, we let this rest, so it is a little bit easier to mold. All right, you guys, so what I have here is two focaccia breads that I made with the Biratella's dough. This one here is the one that was cold fermenting in my fridge for five weeks before taking it out to room temperature. And this one here is the one that I took out of the freezer and let it defrost and come to room temperature. So obviously they are very similar. But I wanted to give you a closer look. The one that has been cold fermenting in my fridge for five weeks is fluffier. It has some air pockets, some bubbling in the dough where this one has no air pockets. It's a little bit flatter, um, but still fluffy and delicious. Now let's cut them open to see the inside. So here I'm just cutting into the five week cold fermented from the fridge, brought to room temperature. You could see all the air bubbles compared to the one that has been defrosted overnight. Still very fluffy, but just less air pockets. Still delicious though. I can certainly promise you that. So all in all that I'm trying to do here is just persuade you to be a little bit more patient. So that way you could see that the dough is better over time. Both equally as delicious, but I will say that I prefer being a little bit more patient, getting these air bubbles in here, softer, the texture is amazing. But if you're in a rush and you gotta get dinner on the table, get it to room temperature and you'll have an amazing pizza or bread to serve on your table. Either way, you will love Biratella's. Give us a try.